today we're going to start by creating a new HTML5 canvas. And I'm going to start by clicking and holding on the oval tool and selecting the oval primitive tool. And holding shift, I'm going to draw a circle. Change the start angle to 60 and the end angle to 300. I'm going to change my color to yellow and I'm going to convert this to a symbol. I'm going to name my symbol Pac-Man. And then I'm going to go and open my symbol from my library so that I'm inside of Pac-Man. And here I'm going to create a shape tween to have him open and close his mouth. So first I'm going to insert a keyframe on frame 11. And then in the middle, which is frame 6, I'm going to create another keyframe. And the middle one is the one I'm going to change. So here I'm going to change this to 1 and 359 so that the mouth looks practically closed. Then I'm going to create a shape tween in between both. And you'll notice that the shape tween looks okay but not great. So to fix this we're going to do modify shape add shape hint. Modify shape Add shape hint, which is Control Shift H, and there are three of them. I'm going to put C on the bottom, B on the top, A in the middle. So when I go to the last one, I'm going to put C on the bottom, B on the top, A in the middle. By telling it which corner is what, we now have a smooth animation from the first part to the second part. We'll need to do this a second time, so I'm going to do Control shift h one, two, three more times. And I'm going to put the same letters in the same place. So C on the bottom, B on the top, leave A in the middle. C on the bottom, B on the top, A in the middle. And we should now have a complete animation of going from open to close back to open. And it looks like this. I'm going to rename my layer to Pac-Man. I'm going to lock it and I'm going to create a new layer that I'm going to put on the bottom and name Maze. Using the rectangle tool with no outline and the color that I want to choose for my walls, I'm going to create a maze. So I can draw a rectangle and then overlap another rectangle with it and so forth to make my maze. Once I finish drawing my maze, I can lock my maze layer, go back to my Pac-Man layer, and set him up where we want to start. So I'm going to start down at the bottom on my maze, and I'm going to rotate him around. Then I'm going to scale mine down so that it fits in the size. So I'm going to lock my height and width values so that they scale together. and change my height so that it fits inside of my walls. And give it a little bit of extra space so that it doesn't hit the walls as it goes through. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to make a path for Pac-Man to follow. So I'm going to create a temporary layer called Path. I'm going to go to the Line tool. Make sure Object Drawing is off and make sure the Magnet is on. And then this is just going to be the path that you want Pac-Man to follow. So make sure that all of your lines touch each other, that there are no holes. And also make sure that you do not cross your own line. Once you've drawn your completed path with no overlapping lines, double click on your line to select the entire thing. And then you're going to want to cut it. You no longer need your path layer, so you can delete it. Let's unlock our Pac-Man layer. We're going to create a motion tween. And then we are going to paste in place. And that should become the path that Pac-Man travels. Now, 24 frames is too fast for him to go through our maze. Depending on how long your path is, you'll need to make yours a different size. So I'm going to try about 200 and see if that looks like the right speed. That appears to be okay, so I'm going to insert a frame to make my maze the same length. Sometimes when you paste your motion, 
it's going to interpret the starting point and ending point opposite of what you want. If that happens, you can right click on your motion tween, go to motion path and reverse the path. So now my Pac-Man will start at the end and end at the beginning. Now you'll notice that he goes through, he is not rotating along the path. To change that, we're going to click our motion tween and we're going to change this to orient to path. Now when he moves, he's going to rotate every time he changes directions. So if I press Control Enter and run this, this is what we get. So I'm going to double my time, which will make him move half as fast. So I'm going to move this out to 400. Insert a frame. If yours is shorter, you probably don't have to go as long. And we'll try that again. That looks a little better. So I'm going to bring mine out to 600, run that, and that looks pretty good. So I'm going to save my document as maze. I'm going to publish it to my website animate folder as maze, switch over to Dreamweaver, refresh my file list, add my maze.html to the bottom, save, upload my animate folder, and then check my website.